For eight and a half acres of land here at RTE in Dublin 4 is being put up for sale. The guide price is 75 million euro. Property consultants Savills are handling the sale. Mark Reynolds, development director with Savills is here. Mark, thanks for coming in to us. Um, before we talk about the sale, I should point out it's expected that staff will be told more about RTE's plans by Director General D. Forbes later this morning and we understand that that will include a restructuring plan involving a reduction in staff numbers of around 200 made up of mostly voluntary redundancies and retirements. Uh, tell us, describe what, what exactly is up for sale, Mark. So basically we're selling um, just shy of nearly nine acres of development land, which uh, is at the moment is zoned for residential development. We're selling it with the benefit of a very detailed feasibility study that's outlining potential for about 500 new homes on the site. Uh, we're offering it on the market formally today and then we'll be inviting parties to make bids over the next few weeks. Who's the sale aimed at? It's basically aimed at a combination. I think the, the buyer universe, as we would say, or the potential buyers, would be a combination of local developers, but then in conjunction with private equity and financiers, both from the US and abroad. 500 houses. Describe to me how, how that would work out. So the scheme that's been developed by Amahony Pike on our behalf and for RT... Uh, Amahony Pike are... Oh, sorry, Amahony Pike are uh, the largest uh, residential architect in the city and would specialise in a lot of various um, high-value apartment schemes and housing schemes. The scheme that they have developed is a combination of apartments and housing. So it's about um, 15 to 20 houses and the rest being apartments. At, at, at what sort of sale price would you envisage? It all depends on whoever buys it in terms of what end of the market that they aim for, whether it's mid or upper end, but because it's 500, it'll be a mix of prices. Okay, if you built a four-bed house on this site, how much, would have, how much, how much are we looking at? Uh, the, uh, the, the reality is with the, the predominantly the scheme was going to be apartments, so you're talking a, a range of anywhere between uh, 480 to 600,000 for apartments, that type of range. 75 million euro. Explain to me where that price is coming from? So basically RT would have been through a process of uh, tendering this sale, we would have submitted uh, our views and values etc and we would have carried out a detailed financial model to come up with that figure. Is there a planning permission for houses here? Uh, it is zoned for development, there's not planning permission, no. Could something else be built here like a shopping centre for example? The zoning that's there is very very detailed and it's specifically aimed at residential development but as part of that there could be some ancillary uses for instance a leisure centre and um, some retail use etc but it's predominantly a residential use. Um, if houses are built here will that have to include a provision for social housing? Yes under the Dublin City Development Plan, you have to provide 10% of the overall scheme for that use. And that can't be bought out anymore. You would have to have a no, minimum of 10%. No, yes. absolutely. That's, that's part of the guidelines. A time frame for development. How long do you think it would take... Because of the, the new initiatives that Mr. Coveney has brought in, because this is over 100 units, you can now apply uh, directly to Bor Panala uh, for planning permission here. And as a result of that, the planning permission process is, is a lot quicker. So you could have a planning de decision within 16 weeks from an application date. There would be a history of objections in planning, uh, particularly in this part of the city. Um, what would you say to those who are who are planning to build with that in mind? I think anybody that any of the, the sophisticated developers that have been building in the city are, are used to, to dealing with the local stakeholders and, and local appellants, etc. And there's a pretty set process there within the planning guidelines and the planning application process to deal with that. I mentioned earlier on road frontage because this backs onto a dual carriageway. That's right. Where would access be for construction? So RT has planning permission for a brand new junction uh, out onto the Stalorgan Road and that junction will provide access both to the campus here but also to this site as well. What do, you, what do you mean a brand new junction? So it's a brand new junction so there's a new entrance where being created off the Stalorgan dual carriage directly into the, the, the campus. Because at the moment the, the, the driving off entrance is, on, is off, off the lane. It's a new driving entrance. On, That's on, it. And so would, would this cause much disruption when building has been carried out for example? No, the construction period is pretty small in terms of the time period. When does this go up for sale? Uh, today. Today's the launch date. Mark, thanks very much for coming in. That's Mark Reynolds from Savills. It's 25 past seven. The Stormed Assembly meets in special session today to pay tribute.